Hey, what's up, guys? I'm going to be helping you guys to have problems with mounting images on Power ISO. So, let's get down to business. Now, first things first, I want to teach you guys how to, um, or well, I'm going to be using, um, Final Fantasy 7 Disc 3 just because I went to use it. So, what I'm going to do is open up Power ISO. Takes a few seconds. Now, click on continue our registry. And then going to see where my mouse pointer is, which says mount, click on mount. Now I have two drives already, you know, set. But um, maybe when you have it, it won't show it. So like for example, what I want to do is I want to disable my drives. And when I disable it, you might see uh what here we go. This. No drive, you know, whatever. What you're going to do is you're going to have set your number of drives to sending on one game. I only use one game, so I'm going to use Final Fantasy VII. One drive. There you go. Boom. And you can see, move not image to drive D, no media. So now what you are going to do is um, click on my image. And now you're going to look in a destination where you have um, the destination folder where I have my ISO in case Final Fantasy 7 and there we go now I will be using the third disc I will open the disc and now click on mount again and see if it's in there it should be mounted now it says mount image to drive D and and all of this other stuff after D is the destination uh, folder um now, now put your mouse over options and then as you can see there are um you see auto start and auto mount make sure you click on both because when you click on both um when you actually are not let's let's say you turn off your computer and then you you know Turn it back on after the shutdown. Apparently, the game will automatically, well, the computer will automatically think that um, the CD is in the CD drive. So, you don't have to actually worry about reopening Power ISO. No, pretty simple. Or, let's see, I just want to change, um, you know, CDs. Other than that, you're fine. Now, um, anyway, you can exit if you want. Now, I am going to be. Let's make one little switch right here. I have to make one little uh, configuration containing um, Final Fantasy VII. Thankfully, I have it um, modded so I can actually make it into a. Um, oh boy. I can make it, you know. I can't think of the word for some odd reason. But yeah, um, yeah, that's right. I can make it window. Um, oh, oh, of course, that's how I did. So I'm like this all the time. So just bear with me. Seven. Come on, you new, new laptop. Come on. Okay, here we go. Now. Now this is a little spoiler thing. I, I call it a spoiler if you don't have Final Fantasy VII. Um, now what I'm doing now is um, changing my um, oh boy, changing it to where Final Fantasy was window. What I'm gonna be doing is going to FF7 OpenGL. And now I'm gonna be looking somewhere, somewhere. Here we go. Um, my window size X and the Y. Um, so my window size my X is twelve eighty, and my um size Y is eight hundred. Um, full screen new, and I save it. Using shortcuts, by the way, so it's a lot easier for me. And now I will be using Vice Duo. Hmm. And I run FF7. It should be working right. Come on now. 
it does this for some odd reason, but it'll be fine. Um, probably say about some color scheme or something like that. I don't worry about it. Now, first of all, I thought it was messing up. Hmm. Apparently, I have no sound. Oh. This is very awkward. As you can see, the game is working, so that's all I really want to do. Thanks for listening to my um, video. Any questions, feel free to comment. Thank you, and have a good day.